were gonna get so much story time content. Like, oh my god. Honey, I love how like we're YouTubers and like it just falls in our lap. Like, <laughs> it's like so literally easy. insert here. Insert here. <laughs> story time material. Insert here. Hey alligators, it's Ellie Hardesty, and I'm here with Colin. I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming this collab with him. I actually fly back from LA in a few hours, so we literally got an extra hotel room just for filming. Like, we're not even sleeping in here. Everyone's sleeping in a different hotel, but we were like, you know what? We gotta get it done. We just need to film this collab. This is the third, the third hotel that we are in, and, and there's a reasoning for it. There's a reasoning why this is the third hotel that we are staying in, and it's been three days. Yeah, we've had a paranormal slash haunted experience every, every single night that we've actually stayed in a hotel or Airbnb. This video is about our haunted Airbnb experience that sort of carried over to our second hotel. These demons or ghosts, whatever they were, were following us. So Natalia booked our Airbnb and it was actually medieval themed. So. Which is funny because the only thing that was middle-aged and evil were the creepy owners. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. It was later. technically like a little guest house in the back of somebody's property. So it was like a separate house from the house, but it was like right there. So you had to be super quiet and it was really freaking tiny. It looked like a Gryffindor common room from like Harry, like Harry Potter. Potter. But there were like Viking helmets everywhere with like, it was like real, hair. real, real hair. human hair. It was, like, it was like Harry Potter meets Bad Girls Club. And there were like swords on the walls. This is how we knew. Like as soon as we got there, we knew it was a Before problem. we even went inside, the owners were creeping through the windows. They didn't come out and introduce themselves like until a couple days later when they walked in on me changing. But we'll get to that. There was this one door and it was like close to the bathroom that was in the corner it was like closed off it had like fans and a whole bunch of clothes that like weren't ours they, they weren't our clothes they put a chair like with a fan on top of it like in order to like try to off. hide it like so we didn't see so it. casually we just like didn't think to look over yeah. there in that corner and of course he did and he goes over there there's a secret peephole like someone could easily break in like a little window that was like oh my God, it was so the up. wall it was so freaking creepy and it came out of the wall so somebody could easily push that in and out and, and we were sleeping and be like watching us and we have no idea we <laughs> have it blocked off because we don't want peasants coming back here Shit. but low key they probably were watching us sleeping they probably were like that's Honestly. creepy. So this is like paranormal, also like the creepy Airbnb owners. We try not to think anything of it because you know like this is, we just got here, so we're not like trying to be like oh my god it's haunted because we're thinking you know, we're the jumping. best. We're really just not too concerned about it. I've never been in a haunted house like this before necessarily. Right. Like, so I, we're one. just we're kind of just laughing it off like oh my god that's creepy. Okay, laughing, like, and like, huh. laughing about it. I'm like okay, well, I'm sure we're safe. We're in a safe neighborhood ish. We're in someone's backyard, but we didn't think that the neighbors would be the ones to creep. But, yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> what are we wrong? Honey? <laughs> so we head over to Taco Bell. I went with Natalia and Anna, and then he and Sierra and I think yeah, Aaron was already passed. Aaron out. was asleep. Yeah. yeah, they were. He was slept. So they. We were staying back just like chilling unpacking so we went to get Taco Bell we came back they were taking forever and we wanted our Taco Bell honey right but by the way they didn't even get the order right but we'll get to that in a second so we wanted to talk about so we thought it'd be funny to get revenge and plus the house was creepy like I told you we were joking about it, it was already creepy. it was like really late at night too yeah and it was like 3 a.m. it was like 3 a.m. so it was just funny like cuz it was creepy everyone was already freaked out as it was so me and Sierra Basically turned all the lights up in the house. Aaron was asleep, so he didn't care. <laughs> he, didn't <laughs> He's care. So <laughs> he didn't even know what was going. He woke up like two hours after this. Yeah. We kneel close to the door, so like when they open it to come in, that we can jump out and scare, them, like pop out and scare them, right? We planned to pop out sooner than we thought, twice, because we heard Anna's voice, twice, and they didn't come. So we're like, why are they not coming? Like they like fooling around like in the front, like in front, like before going in. Like why are they like not coming in? We get up to go open the door to look out because we're like, whatever, like, we can't pull the prank because it was, like, off. Like, it wasn't, it, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been funny anymore, like, because it was lame, like, at that point because it was, like, so delayed. We look and, like, there's nothing out there. It's pitch black. Nothing. No porch lights from the houses around because there was barely any houses around as there was. Nothing. Pitch black. It means here we're like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It didn't just happen once, though. It happened twice. We heard Anna's voice again. We did the same thing. Nobody was there. So then, after that, they finally do come. Yeah, but we don't even hear Anna. We mostly hear like Allie and Natalia. And we hear a little bit of Anna, but like we knew that there were like multiple people. The first time we only heard Anna. We didn't hear anyone else, we just heard her. And we heard all them coming out. So we're like, this has to be I'm like, what the heck? Cause we were like psyched out and freaked out about it. So we pop out and scare them. But then we tell them about the situation. We're like, uh-uh, honey, uh-uh. And so I don't think anyone was like, too concerned yet. Too concerned about it yet. Because it was the first night. Like, we kind of were just, like, playing everything off. Which is so dumb. The more you think about it, like, the lead up. Like, all the stuff that happened before. Because all the crazy stuff hasn't even happened yet. Yeah. Whatever the was beginning. there didn't want us there. It didn't. Like, Put it that oh, way. that's so creepy. I got chills. <laughs> Did you just get chills? 
So the next morning when we were getting ready, a bunch of stuff went missing. For example, I was doing my makeup in the bathroom and it was terrible lighting and I was using my Anastasia brow dip, whatever. So I went to do my makeup outside like with a mirror and good lighting in the backyard. And so I went out and my eyebrow brush was like right on top of my makeup thing. And I walked like literally a few feet from the bathroom to outside. When I get outside, just the brow pencil, which I was currently using, was missing. Everything else... It was, it, it was there. Fine. It was there. It was just the item that I was actually using. Same with his phone. Same with people's jackets. Like whenever someone actually needed something, it would be gone. Where did you find your jacket that one time? But it my, was like underneath the rug or something. Yeah, my, and that was random. The jacket was that. underneath the rug, and then my phone was hidden under like my my suitcase, like my luggage. Like, it was in places that no one would have like, ever nobody put. Nobody would have ever put it. And I ended up finding my eyebrow brush like in the in the like side yard, basically like behind the door, and no one was out there. It happened to everyone. So much stuff went missing. Like literally all of Sierra's clothes were gone. Like pretty much her entire suitcase was gone. So I would take a picture on here, but just of us with the flash. And every time I take a picture of the flash, the pictures would be devil or shred. Like devil devilish shred. shred. Like not, it's not normal at all. Like no like, filter, no like filter. dead ass. Like fucking devilish shred. Like what the hell? And this was like before we actually went to sleep before the next morning. Yeah, yeah. And we still didn't think anything of it. We're just like, oh my phone's a piece of shit. Ha. But then the next day, like after stuff had been missing for a little bit, Colin's phone, when he actually did find his phone, he wouldn't be touching it, like say it would be on the desk or the table or whatever. Basically the phone would ring and I answer it, like cause you, I have a, iOS 10 honey sucks. So I would open it cause I have lock screen when the phone rang, there wouldn't be no call. Like it would show like 0.5 seconds of a call. It wouldn't say any name, it wouldn't even say a number. It would just like show 0.5 five, five seconds of like a, like how a call would be on, then it'd be gone. It could be gone as soon as like I unlock my screen to be there for like 0.5 seconds just for over. me to see that like there's a call and then it'd be gone. Then he go on his call log, it was non-existent. It, it happened it over, and over, any and over and over and over. So I couldn't see who called, nothing like that. But then this is when it really got bad. It started ringing this time and it didn't stop when I answered it. It didn't even have my lock screen. I clicked my phone open when it rang and it literally fucking answered for itself. I didn't even click answer, it answered. <laughs> For its fucking self. I didn't touch answer. So the creepy neighbors that we told you about, like the ones that were looking through the windows when we got there. Well, this man walks in. This is kind of funny. Like, it's not. <laughs> All right, so I was like, changing. And like, okay, like everyone, we were just like, I was changing into clothes. I'd been in pajamas or whatever. And so I was like, okay, no one looks. I'm changing. And the freaking neighbors walk in on me and I have my like literally like my the owner I'm, the top, owner. I'm topless the owner like it was like the dude and his wife but the wife was like kind of standing back and the owner just continues to stand there like looking like, at her like with he her was, titties like why my, literally my boobs were out and I'm, I had my shirt over my head like I was lifting it above my head and so I couldn't even see him because I was just like lifting my shirt you know how you do that and then when I take my shirt off I'm like what are you doing? And what did he say? He was like, oh, I'm sorry. You're no, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I was just coming to like check and like meet you guys. Oh, wait, you couldn't introduce yourself last night? Yeah, when you were through, through the, the window. window. And then, oh, wait, now you want to introduce yourself when my freaking boobs are out? Like, all right, <laughs> dude, like. <laughs> I feel like this is like some shit out of a fucking movie. So like, it make I felt sense. so violated. And, and like, it, I was just like, who does that? Because like. When he was saying sorry, he kept staring. Like he was like, he kept staring at me. At, like, Maybe like 20 minutes later, they come back and they're hella mad because apparently the dog got out. And what I mean by that is there was a gate that was in the area because this like was um this was a, a guest house. So in the back house is right next to to the house that we were at. We had not left the premises at all. And then they're trying to blame us that their dog ran away because the gate was open. Like the gate was open and the dog ran <laughs> The dog ran away. Because the gate was open, which I think that's not funny that like, the dog ran away, but like, <laughs> the fact that this happens to like, what the hell? And the, he was pissed. Like, he was pissed. He was blaming us, and we tried to explain to him, like, look, we have not left this house. And their dog was just there when they came up the first time, so... It didn't make any sense. And we were like, that's, I think, when we were like, mm, -mm. He was acting really creepy. And he too. was just, like, super accusing us, and he was like, where's Natalia? Like, I need to speak to Natalia, because it was under her name. She told him, like, hey, we're leaving. And then they didn't even give us a refund, but, hey, but that's a whole nother That's another story. That's another rant video right Whatever. there. Whatever. So we were like, you know what? Like, a hotel would be safer, right? Yeah, like, let's go to a hotel because so apparently 
Um, Airbnbs are full of creepy freaking owners and creepy freaking Don't get a themed Airbnb. No, no, one don't do one. that. Like, that's that's the lesson I learned. Like, don't get a themed one. <laughs> they weren't playing. They, when they said medieval, <laughs> that shit medieval, you. medieval, they weren't playing because we did get some middle-aged evil bitches and some fucking ghosts along the way. So we went to Best Western. We went to Best Western. We're like, let's just go to a hotel because why would we want to do an Airbnb again? Because first of all, we didn't want to deal with owners, I think. Because it was just creepy, like... That's just too much. Like the fact that they can just like, walk us. into the house, like and not care. <laughs> Fucking peepholes. The doors. Like this. This is uh uh. That was creepy. <laughs> like I can't. So we go to a hotel thinking that it's gonna be safer. <laughs> this is the first thing. No exaggeration. We have live fucking footage for this. As oh, soon. Oh, what room were we? What room? Three thirteen. Three thirteen was the name of our room number. Don't believe us. Live fucking footage here. Oh my god. So this door. fucking now this fucking place is haunted. It keeps flickering. Oh my god. Oh fuck this shit. Just going. But like that's normal. The lights haven't been No, but like they time. were flickering like Dude, look at the really thing. It's busted out too. <gasps> the thing's busted. Show it. Show it on the camera. We walk into the room. The lights are already flickering. <laughs> the lights are the already lights are flickering. flickering. Like they were like bluish color. Like they weren't even like white. They were like bluish flickering. I don't know how to explain like thunder. We were scared to go in there because it was like <laughs> and then like it would turn off and on. And the light wouldn't turn on completely and we were like shook. Like shit to go in and we filmed it. We're like, oh hell no, uh, because we already knew about this. The ghost followed us. The ghost followed us. We go look on the freaking switch where the switch is at, and it's busted. Like it's actually busted. The switch is busted. Then Natalia oh, went to go turn on the right. regular lamp because the regular the, the regular lighting in the hotel, it wouldn't work. Like it literally wouldn't work. So we went to go use a lamp instead. She touches the lamp very slightly, not not hard at all, not hard. And the lamp almost flies off the stand. And she doesn't even touch it hard. Just very lightly, just, you know, turning it on. Almost flies off the stand. No exaggeration. Like, she had to grab it. I think that's when I got, like, kind of scared. <laughs> like, I actually said I was going to leave. So I was like, oh, I'm not staying here. I'm not staying here. And they, like, they calmed me down. And things were okay for a little while. Like, it was left alone. Or so we freaking thought. We go to Disneyland the next day, thinking, oh, everything's fine, blah, blah, blah. We're going to have fun. Go to Disney. Magical world, honey. The only magic things that were happening were the fucking witchcraft that was going on while we were gone. <laughs> fucking talk about wizards and fucking shit. No, there were some real witches in our house. <laughs> while we were gone. So as the days went along, we noticed that things were missing, but we just kind of ignored it. Well, today, as we were packing up our last day, we were supposed to check out like 11. That didn't happen because we noticed that like everything was missing. Everything. Random things. I had shirts. Okay. The shirt I was gonna wear today, this is literally Natalia's shirt because I was going to wear the shirt. I was holding it in my hand, I set it down on the bed for maybe like five seconds, turned around to grab it to put it on. It was gone. I searched through everybody's suitcases. I, I looked up the entire room, like every And we know corner. that she brought it. It's my favorite shirt, so I was like really upset about it, like trying to find it. Like I was, was just gone. holding it, it was gone. Aaron lost his debit card. Twice. Not his debit card, yeah, his debit card. And he found it underneath the couch cushion on like the opposite end of the room. Like his, where he was sleeping was like the bed closest to like the entrance. And he was never even on the couch. The couch was literally just where he put like the pizza boxes and stuff. Like trash. But somehow his card was between the couch. And then when he found it again, it was in a pocket of one of his shorts in his luggage. He didn't go through his luggage, like in some random green shorts that he was never gonna wear like on that trip. I was like, what? And that was happening fuck? with everything. This morning, I opened up one of these weird ass closets that are like in the hotel, like the ones that are like in the corner when you open the door. It has like irons and stuff, but nobody really uses it, let's be real. All this shit that was missing, my joggers, shirts, like some of your My shirts. shirt wasn't even in there, but other shirts that yeah. were missing. No, Something we didn't even realize not... was missing was in there. Like that's how much stuff we had missing. A All fucking in a pile. pile of shit. In the closet. Was in the closet. <laughs> that we never no one, put there. No one used the closet because like the door opened and covered up the closet. So nobody just, even thought about it. But like I was just going through it like this would be so weird like just thinking about it. I open it and all of our shit is heaped in a fucking pile. And then we realized the car keys are missing. So we're like, now we can't even leave. So we're all packed up. So, so the we car spent like are half gone. an hour looking for the car keys. So we think maybe we left it in the car. Cause like, that's what I'm thinking. Cause you know, Aaron and me, like we were the ones who went to go get the car keys originally to go get something out of it. So we're like, oh, maybe we left them. We go in the car and the keys are not somewhere that we would have left them. Let me just state that. Let me just state that. And first of all, like we're dumb, honey, but we're not that dumb. We look <laughs> on the fucking seat. And the car keys are sitting in the car. <laughs> in the fucking car. We come back upstairs. I go to go unzip my bag. 
to finish putting the stuff from the fucking shit that was in the heap in the corner, there's a lock, a lock on, on my suitcase. luggage. A lock. A silver lock. I never put it there. Never fucking put it You've there. You've had the suitcase for how many I've years? I've had it for a long time. Never. Never put it there. Didn't. Who keeps a lock on their suitcase? Who puts a lock on their suitcase? <laughs> no, not me. Saying. If you do, I'm not judging you. But <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me, that's for sure. So we're like, uh-uh. We need to get out of here fast. So that, that's when everyone was really freaking out at that point because all the stuff was missing. We ended up finding all this stuff. The atmosphere was like really... Oh my God. I'm like getting freaked out right now thinking about like the people and shit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below with what part you guys thought was the scariest and or what part that you guys might have your own explanation for if you think that this didn't add up because it totally doesn't add up, but it, you can't argue that it's somewhat paranormal and... Scary AF because scary AF, honey. Scary AF, honey. Okay, we left. We literally had to leave two different hotels. And it's our third one. But no, I'm like honestly fucking keep my fingers crossed. Like, let's hope this one's not the one. <laughs> what if stuff started happening? No, stop. Right don't even stop. I don't want. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, I'm getting freaked out. Okay, if you guys want to go watch the collab that we did on my channel, you can click on my phone. You can click my ass. We did, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We did a Donald but, Trump collab. Or, that sounds so weird. That sounds so bad. <laughs> we did, no, 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 no. We did a story time on his channel about an incident with a Donald Trump supporter at 7-Eleven. In an Uber, too. So go check that out. Click him. Click the description box. Subscribe to his channel. Make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh-huh. Later, Later all users. users. Bye. Bye.